Well, wow, it is super impressive to be on such a big stage. Um, so I'm Marie from Data IQ, and I wanted to start with a short little story. So when I was younger, I used to play the clarinet in an orchestra, and I don't have slides, but it doesn't matter. I, I'm going to continue, and they will eventually show up. Oh yeah, now we are good. So as I said before, I used to play the clarinet in an orchestra. And I remember that, especially when you started to rehearse a new piece of music, it was a huge mess because, you know, everybody was just starting to play the notes that we had just been distributed. So what actually makes an orchestra an orchestra? Well, we have all the different musicians, and, that they, and they play a huge variety of different instruments, and they not only play different instruments, but they all follow different rhythms and different notes. So with all these notes, you know, what do we actually need to make music out of these different musicians and the sounds they make? Well, I think an essential part of an orchestra is actually a conductor. Because, you know, the conductor is in charge of making sure that the orchestra and the different musicians play together from the beginning to the end. And the conductor is also in charge of making sure that um, the different groups of instruments play when they're supposed to play, and he's in charge of making sure that one group of instruments, for example, the trumpets, don't play louder than the flutes or the violins. So you might be wondering, why am I speaking about an orchestra? Well, if we think about it, I think a data science project is actually quite comparable to an orchestra and how an orchestra works. Because similar to all the different musicians that we have in an orchestra, we have different profiles, for example, data scientists, the business experts, and the IT, that need to work together to make a data science project successful. But, as a matter of fact today, these different profiles I just mentioned, they all work in different instruments or with different tools, actually, and they don't really have a good manner to collaborate and to communicate because they're in their siloed environments. So what do we need to make these different stakeholders work similar to a conductor who makes an orchestra work? Well, I think we also need some kind of orchestrator who manages the different stakeholders and to make sure that we actually generate value from the data. And this is exactly what we at DataIQ do. So to show you the slide, we, first of all, connect people to data. So similar to an orchestra where we have, you know, different musicians and they absolutely need to be able to read the notes, we have the same approach. So we want to allow everybody within an organization to access to the data. How do we do that? Well, first of all, the data scientists can continue to work with the data in their preferred technologies, for example, RStudio or Python, whereas we enable the business people to manipulate the data by leveraging a visual interface. Secondly, we connect people to systems. So similar you know, to an orchestra where we have a huge variety of different instruments, Sorry, we connect people to systems, which means that um, we allow you to leverage the technologies that you might have in place today. But we also are ready for the technologies that you might use in the future if you, for example, think about cloud, Kubernetes, Docker, etc., etc. And last but not least, we connect people to people. So similar, exactly the same way like in an orchestra, it is absolutely necessary that the different musicians play well together in a harmonious way. We allow different people and different stakeholders to collaborate in a transparent way to make sure that the projects they're working on are actually relevant, that we can reuse them and deploy them into production. Oh, sorry. Um, DataQ has today over 300 different customers, and they all address the same struggle I just mentioned about bringing data, people, and technology together. And because these challenges are actually the same no matter which industry we are looking at, DataIQ is a completely agnostic software. When it comes to the use cases, actually, there is a, I think our customers develop more than 500 different use cases today, and they range from pretty basic use cases around ETL to much more advanced use cases such as fraud detection, customer segmentation, or churn prediction. And if you're interested to find out more, come by our booth number 19 or talk to me afterwards. Thank you. <laughs>